Good morning, St. Madeline Sophie School. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Seraphs. Today is June 17th. Let's start our last full day of school together with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, as we say farewell to our teachers, friends, and loved ones today, we entrust them into your care. We pray for happiness and joy to be ahead of them, for wisdom and guidance to be beside them, and for grace and truth to be behind them, pushing them onwards into your goodness. We know that you will always love and protect them wherever they go. Thank you for your extraordinary love, commitment, and creativity for all of our wonderful teachers who have given to this school and for all of our students who have brought us true joy when we needed it most. Thank you for the way that the teachers have served us and given so much for all of our students. We pray that everyone has a safe summer and treasures each day, and we pray that your blessings will be upon everything that we do until we see each other again in September. We ask this in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have a lot of different things to do this morning together, boys and girls. First off, let's listen to the summer birthdays. Here we go. Today is Claire's birthday in eighth grade. Technically, she's a graduate. Then on the 20th, Mateo has a birthday. Moving into July, Isabella in seventh grade has a birthday. Eric and Kevin in fourth grade have a birthday. Thomas in seventh grade has a birthday. Gioco in pre-K has a birthday. Montserrat in third grade. Serafina in first grade. Jovianne in second grade. Maggie in fourth grade. Caleb in second grade. Rowan in fifth grade. Miwa in first grade. Though there's our July birthdays. Okay, then we have August birthdays. Finn and Mav in kindergarten have a birthday. Gabe in kindergarten has a birthday. Michaela in fifth grade. Jackson in fifth grade. Kyle in third grade. Maddox in fourth grade. Adrian in sixth grade. Sophie in fourth grade, Annie in first grade, Here in seventh grade, and Raymond in second grade. And boys and girls, we also have a teacher birthday just next week. Mr. Yulin has a birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Yulin. Have a fun summer. Okay, those are all of our summer birthdays. You guys have all gotten your summer birthday surprises. Now we have our seventh grade awards. Okay. Now our seventh graders are now our new leaders at school. It's their job to make sure that we are all following the SLEs to serve, lead, love, and learn every day. They are our role models now and our oldest students on campus. So there are some special awards for them as they step into their leadership roles next year. Okay, leadership in faith. The student who demonstrates an explicit knowledge of the Catholic faith and an awareness of its influence on his or her conduct as a school leader. Leadership in faith can be shown in any area of school life. Congratulations to David M. Congratulations, David. Okay, leadership and academic achievement. 
This student demonstrates excellence in academic achievement in any subject and encourages or assists others to achieve academic achievement. Special consideration is given to students who have produced outstanding projects as evidence of their achievement or who have shown marked and consistent improvement in academic performance. This year, we have two students who have earned this recognition from the Archdiocese. Monica, congratulations, Monica, for your leadership in academic excellence. And Velvet, congratulations, Velvet. I'm so very proud of both of you. Okay, let's move on to leadership in community building and service. The student takes a leadership role in activities that build school community or that serve the local community. The student should be respected by peers for their quality of his or her leadership. This award may be given to students who build the school's community and who leads community service projects. This year, the award for leadership in community building and service goes to Kira. Congratulations, Kira. Okay, and we have our last area, leadership in co-curricular participation. The student participates with distinction in co-curricular activities sponsored by school and encourages others to do so as well. Special consideration should be given to an activity that is important to the school's mission. This year, that award goes to Ella. Congratulations, Ella. We are so very proud of all of you seventh graders as you step into this new role of leadership. We will do a special blessing for you. Loving God, look kindly on these new leaders of our school. By their actions, they have shown us their readiness to accept their role. Please feed them with your wisdom and your understanding. Let them recognize when they are being called upon to take up their new responsibility. May they be blessed by you and always be a blessing to others. And may you guide them every step of the way. Amen. Boys and girls, tomorrow we will all have mass together and then a fun parade to pick up report cards and yearbooks. But this will be the last YouTube video. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful summer, stay safe, have fun, and know how much we love you. We are so incredibly proud of everything you have accomplished this year. You brought each of your teachers so much joy when we needed it the most. We love you. Happy summer. Go Seraphs.